All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, that was quick. Yeah, if we thought we didn't understand yesterday's stuff. <laughs> well, okay, Minneapolis is delayed, including the recording. Ah, <laughs> very good, Pats. Your flight was all right? Oh, okay. Yeah, Baruch Hashem. Thanks again. Yeah. They're actually making early Shabbos here, so I'm going to have to log off. Should be later there, though, no? Yeah, but then they're making Shabbos, so they want to make minutes. they want to make it early. Yeah. So, so they don't finish the meal at 2 o'clock in the morning. Right. With all the drushes. Okay, so anyway, so first part, the first part of the doc we have, we have it's regular, and then the rest of it is I got it. So we'll discuss when we get to it. So it's up to the new parish. I ain't give a little bit by the Mishnah. Um, I'm like a Sfina. So somebody sells a boat. So till now we talked about houses and huts and uh, all that. But now we're now we're on to other things. So now, so if you sell a boat, right? You, you say you sell. You included in it is the the turin is the mast, the sanes, and the sail. That's a that's a uh, Ugin and the uh, anchor. There's Kolam and Higan. Is there anything that's used to, to to ride it? Meaning whatever you need to to drive the the ship. But not the slaves. If there are slaves on there, like uh, security guards, the Rashbam says it. The I, thought, I thought that's the engine. You know, you got six slaves, three on this side, three on that side, rowing the boat. Uh, I thought about. I saw. That. I saw it in the movie. <laughs> um, um, yes. No. So he says she yeshu the Palestinian lahaniga. Right. The Rosh Baruch says it. He says this and to watch to to watch the pakmatri. So the, the Rosh Baruch does agree with with what you say. But they're still not, they're not considered the engine. That That's the only part that that's not the case. Beloyas and Martsufin. And Martsufin are bags that, uh, you know, those from the, the loading dock. Beloyas on Tiki. And not the actual um, luggage. Well, but meaning, because that's obviously not included in the in the boat. It was Mancha Omaloy. He, Vachoma Shepasaycha. When he said, I'm selling you this and everything in it. All right, cool. And then everything is sold. I would think that the equivalent would be when you sell a car to somebody. So do you sell are, are the chargers included in the car? You sold your car to somebody and you left a few car chargers in there or, or GPS or uh, I don't know what else. Anything anything of the type. All right, so would that be included? So it would not be included. That's what I would think. But... Right, but uh, yeah, so that's so that same thing with the boat. So now the corner goes through what these things are. Oh, the, the, the Mishnah mean when it says the high cool and the it means uh, even uh, I feel it about them. Allah, yeah, because they're they're like you said, they're the engine, yeah. meaning they work on the ship, they're can they're included, they're part of. The Chara would depend what type of avadim are there, but if they're the ones that are, that are meant to, to, to be the security guards or the ones that that drive the ship. So in the Chara, they're, they're included. Okay. I would think. I would think. Okay, so what? So Gemara says, Turin is Iskariya. Iskariya. V'chein u'aymer, Erez milvanin, lok lakahu lasis tayren alayah. They took an Erez from from Lebanon, from Lebanon, to make a tyrant, to make some sort of, uh, uh, what do we say it is? A mast. Nace. What's a nace? Adra. Chinu Oimer. It says, Sheish berikma mimitzrayim hoi mifrashik liyaz lach nace. Linen from Mitzrayim that was spread out. It should be for a nace. Ugin. What's Ugin? Taner abchia elu uginin shalah. 
that's the anchors. Shavachenu Oimer, Halahain Tishavarna Adasher, Yigadlu Halahain Tayagena Lavilti Eis Leish. This is this actual passage from, from Rus, where she's telling, uh, Naomi is telling Rus and Orpah not to, not to come back. So she says, well, you gonna, Are you going to wait until these kids get older? You're going to be an Aguna. So in the word Aguna, it's going to prevent you from getting married to somebody else. So Ugun means to stop things. So that's an anchor. The anchor stops the ship from floating away. That's the, the um, oars. Right? Um, is uh, oars that from Bashan. And also uh, Mishatayach, Vibai same of wood, right? Vibai same Mahacha. It wouldn't be like an oar, an oar like a, a rudder or so. I, I understood it. Uh, I understood it as uh, uh, if it's if it's sailing and you have a mast and you have a sail, you don't necessarily have a. Uh, the guys uh, pushing uh, pushing oars. It could be that's a, that's. But the but but your manig, you have to have some way of steering it, <clears throat> and you steer it with a rudder. I think you know, I think uh, that's how uh, most boats are steered with the the person in the back with the rudder. Well, I don't know, whatever. Mac, I'm the harder. That's also I would think. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so he was saying, "Well, you're the man. You say I'm called Taisa Moshit, and from their boats they'll descend. Or anybody who holds onto a, they'll go down. Anybody who holds onto an oar." Tanrabana. Now, my question is, "Fina Macharis a Iskula? You sell the ship. You also sell the Iskula." Um. Oh yeah, the, the Iskula. The, yeah. the Iskula is the uh, uh, the ramp. The ramp. The Rashbam says the ramp to go to go onto the boat. Yes, bar hamayim shepasayich, and then the bar hamayim because they need fresh water. Nasarem and amacharis asvina macharis abitzis. He sold the beetzis. Some for some amacharis asvina macharis hadugis. Okay, I'm a rabbi beetzis. I knew dugis. Right, it's the same thing. I'm not some bavla who carry la beetzis. He, from from Bava they called it Butzis because Amri and she Butzisa the Miyashan the Butzisa of the Miyashan. Sumchas um, Davar Tzvar Eretz Yisrael. He was from the Bar Eretz Yisrael. He was from Eretz Yisrael. Karila Dugas. He the Sif Achri Spend with Tiras Duga. It's called uh, then you're it's going to be carried off with these small little boats. So I'm not sure, but what are they, Lemais? Why why does it use the word bar? Why does he use the word bar? Miriam was on this, this ship that he sold. What, what? You don't have bars on ships. They have barrels of water. I mean, no, it sounds like... They have, bar, they have a bar. They have a serious problem. Why? What the bar is a hole with water. They don't have that. No, but they're not. No, he they says have... here the ship had a cistern in it to hold fresh water for use during the trip. Maybe Remember they tabled. Maybe they it's tabled a, it's it. It's not a bar. He waits, why is it called? Why is it not called a barrel? That's a cistern. Say. Yeah. Why isn't it called a cistern? They called the bar. Uh, they did. They didn't recreate the word cistern yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe the shot in a boar is not a boar is not always in the ground. The boar is, uh, I'm a boar, yeah, <laughs> got it. But uh, maybe, uh, maybe uh, I didn't this want to say anything shot. in front of I didn't want to say anything in front of you, right? Now, <laughs> um, yeah. uh, I mean, so I guess I mean it's an interesting choice of I guess maybe because there's a large amount of water. I understood it as a large amount of water to last the whole trip. So okay, maybe it was fine. much bigger than a barrel. Maybe it's much bigger than a barrel. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So beaches or dugas, those are small boats. I guess they're uh, what are they called? A dinghy. Dinghy. A dinghy. Right. A dinghy. Um. 
fine. Okay, so now we start because of we got because we started talking about ships. So now this is from the more famous shots. I got it that last about two and a half plot, and it's from the hardest I got it to understand. Uh, well, first translation wise, if an art school, like a guy asked me today, how does anybody ever learn this Gemara before they have it in art school? Meaning, you got you can get the Gemara without the art school, but it's much more specific to Taich. I guess in the old days you have to look at the Jastro. <laughs> I guess that's now obsolete. Um, if you hazard enough times, you remember the words. I mean, not that this is uh, exciting to Chazer uh, Agarita, but if you Chazer enough times, you remember the words, just like any other thing. Right, so I, was actually, or not. I was actually thinking that, you know, we blow through the Agarita. Yeah. This Agarita was important enough for the Gro to write on it and for the Maral to write on it, and obviously the Ein Yaakov and, and Marsha and others, and the Gro really wrote a lot on this on this. So it's very hard to understand. So basically, basically the way most of the Mepharshim say, <clears throat> they say that this is, this all these stories that are coming up, well, the Shilas, are, are they exaggerations or not? That's A. B is what is the, um, uh, it's a muscle for what? So most of it is a muscle for life. So let's see. We'll, we'll discuss it as we go along. So I'm a I'm a rab. I was talking or it was, I was schmoozing with the peace people that go down to this to the to the yam. I don't know if this means fishermen or boating or it sounds like people on boats. Hi gala, the met, the metabolism. If you have a if you have waves that sink ships, meaning large waves. the nura it looks like it has a little bit of uh, a tzitzis, uh, a tzitzis of, of light, of white light at the top of the, at the top of the uh, wave. Umachinale alvasa, and it hits it with a, but if you hit the wave, the alvasa, with some sort of stick, the chok galay, and it says on this stick, it's, 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 um, Chisel down in the stick. Eya sher eya, right? Ka Hashem tzvakois, amen, amen, sela, benaya. That's the way to get this thing to calm down. Is to is to hit it with these with a stick that has these three things written on it. So if you look in the art schools, but Pirish, it goes through with the gra, and that we said that uh, with this, and uh, I think that the rest of the God is in, is in Bikurim. I wish I wish I would have known this fifty years ago when I was paddling a canoe out in the oceans, because the waves are so high and they crest up and they're, fo- they're foaming up over there. And I would just take my paddle and you know hit it when saying that. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> well, this only means the big waves that it would destroy you. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not talking. I'm talking big waves. <laughs> this is a uh, pretty. Pretty scary yeah. out there, and all right. So then, okay. So there you go. But they, so they, they say basically the muscle is is that that uh, the person is the 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 boat is the person, and the ocean is the Itzahara, and it's going through the world. So all these are different. That's the basic gist of it. Amarav Shtoli Nechusayama Ben Galal Galat Tlas Mea Parsa. Between each wave is three hundred parsas. Right, that's a lot. Right, a parsa is seventy. What we consider it seventy-two minutes. It's four mil. Right, so you're talking about you're talking about uh, it's, uh, it's like three miles, two and a half, three miles. So you're talking about nine hundred miles, something like that. Six, uh, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred miles. The room of the gala, plus mea parsi, and each wave goes three hundred parsas up high in the air. Zimna Chada Havaz Mina Barcha. So one time we were traveling, but the Linan Gala, and we were lifted up by a wave. At the Chasinam Bay, the Ravase the Koych Bazuta, we could see where the Maravase means from Rovaya, where it was sitting, not sitting, where it was uh, resting. The smallest star, Vavili, Ke Kimavazar Arban Girgrivi Bizra Dechardu. And it looked like it was big enough 
to, to plant 40 grivi. Grivi is a measurement of, of, of uh, mustard seeds. And if we would have been lifted further, we would have gotten so close to the star that we would have gotten burned by the heat. And then we heard one, one wave talking to its friend saying, Did you leave anything for me? Did you leave anything for me that you didn't uh, wash out? Um, so I could come destroy it, meaning they were competing. Who's going to be able to destroy things? Go see how strong your master is. I can't, um, even the, the a chut, even a little string of sand, I can't even pass. Meaning the, the sand is holding back the ocean. Shanamar, I see like no no Hashem. And you're not going to fear me, says Hashem. From me, you're not scared. Because I put sand by the ocean to block to block the ocean. That's a chayk, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna, never gonna be, it's not gonna pass. Meaning, it's a, it's a, it's a rule of the world that sand prevents the water from flooding the world. I can't remember. Don't don't we say this? Do we say this by something? There's a bracha about this. I, I can't remember something about sand. <laughs> sand holding back the ocean. I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't remember. That's really hard to look it up. It's our time. It's our you time. wouldn't be saying it anyways. No, I don't mean it's not a special bracha. It's it's like some, one of the things that it's said about the wonders of the world. think yeah okay anyways the same the same type the, of <clears throat> the terrorist time says that the chut is a sitis that protects us it's a trailer, it's a day, and the sitis protects us from uh, all the tsars in the world huh. which is interesting it's a sitis yeah it brings a medrash by Mayim Lam Choyma by Siyat Mitzrayim, the Medjur says the Mitzvah sits as protected quality so the water wanted to drown them when they were crossing Yom so. Oh. Yeah, they, make all, they made sits for all these soldiers. I, I didn't know if it had something to do with it or just that's an easy Mitzvah to do, you know? It so, sounds well, like there's some... Is, there is a Shmira to tzitzis inherent. Right, right. Uh, so inherent. He says that that's what the Gemara is referring to. A chot is a tchelas of the sits. Uh, interesting. Interesting. So, yeah. Is that only by day and not yeah, by so. night? No, night. We also hold this as man. I mean, we'll have it to my flight. This is my thing. We hold it. What are you saying, Rabbi? Before I came down to the Shia, I went on the J Post to list on before Shabbos. And there was an article of a lady was arrested today in Tel Aviv for throwing <laughs> sand on Ben Gavir, the minister. <laughs> the list thing I saw in the pa- Yeah, the headline I saw in the pa- <laughs> She must have done the daf. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm a rabbi. So rabbi said, "Di chazili hormon barlilus." So I saw hormon barlilus, which most mafarshim seem to say that this is like a meyuchistik a shade. Uh, he's hormon barlilus. Kikaroit akufya teshura de mechuzah when he was running by the kufya by the thing that goes around the the wall of mechuzah. Whatever it is, I'm not sure exactly what this was. The border. And there was a, a, a parsha, meaning parashim. A, uh, they call it? Uh, what is it? A horse parasha. horse and its rider? Something like that, yeah. Mm. And he was riding, the, the guy was riding the horse. And he couldn't, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't uh, keep up with him. So Zimna had at one time have Sargon lay Tarti Kudanaisa. So this Horman had himself two two uh, mules, the Kaiman on top of his now. The Kaiman Atre Kishri the Rugna, the Rush the Rugnag. They were standing by the two bridges of Rugnag. Right? That was the name of a river. The Shavar Mehai Lahai Mehai Lahai, and he was he was jumping 
from one mule to the other mule. But not get trained Mazgi the Chamber the other, and he was holding two, two. Uh, the Bach changed it to Kaisis. Two cups. Mazgi means means I think glass. He was holding two cups of wine in his hands. I guess while he was doing this, he was also pouring from one cup to another cup. So the cups were filled and he was pouring from one to the other? No I don't know, both were filled or one. I thought it was, uh, I thought one glass was full and he was pouring back and forth. It sounds, it sounds like a costume like stick. Arch Girl says it sounds two, full, like it. two full glasses of wine. So how was he pouring from one to the other? I mean, that was a nascent. That's, that's what I just asked. So that, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, he was a shade, right? Yeah, I mean, none, none of this is real. So I'm just saying, like, you know. Maybe he was doing um, it at the same time. He was emptying it at the same time and catching in the other cup. You mean he was pouring them both? I hear what you're saying. I yeah, was, casting with sort the of like, hand. Sort of like you, when you see a, sometimes a picture of a runner and both legs are in the air. Right? He's not jumping. So he's saying like he poured both and he would catch yeah, He's juggling a sort of. Yeah, I guess I hear that. <coughs> but the Marshbam says the Chiddush is... Hence the going say for the juggler and the yeah, fish. I was... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's on a different story, but L'Chorah, I yeah, think. I but maybe not. But I think it... But yeah, it fits. It fits. But the Rashbam says the Chiddush is, besides the Chiddush of this, is the Chiddush is, is that even though it was very windy or they were running, and it still didn't spill. Um, so that was, and it was such a bad day, right? It was Yalo Shemayim, and Yerdu Tahim Mishava. He would go up to Shemayim and then go down to the time, to the depths. Right? Yeah. Until the Melech heard and killed him. But Rashbam says it wasn't the human king. It was the king of the shade. King of the shade and killed him. So I'm a rabbi. I, I saw a barzila bar a, uh, a, a re'em. So we don't know exactly what re'em is. Re'em seems to be the go-to animal in Agatha to Gemaras. Right? Um, some say it's a unicorn. Right? Uh, uh, yeah, whatever it is, some some sort of strange animal to have a kahar tover. It was the size of har tover, which means it was very large. Har tover kamahavi, and how big was har tover? Arba parsi, four parsois. I don't know what that means. Four parsois straight up, right? I mean, a height of four parsois. Fine. Umeshochet the tavari tlasa parsi, and the this reim's neck was three parses long. So we had the mountain that was four. Mount, four. Um, it was as big as a mountain that was four parses, but its neck was three parses. And the place that Meravta, again from the word to Reveya, where it put down its head was a parse and a half. So it was actually four and a half parses. Right? Rama Kufsa, when it went to the bathroom, the Sakharle Liardina and it blocked the whole Yardin River. That's how big that's how big it was. Fine. Rabba Rabba Khana Lidi Khazile Ahi Akar Ak Akruksa. I saw a croak. I think is that where croak comes from? Because Akrukta is it the uh, Rashbam says it's it's Vardeya. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. I just thought about it now. I mean I did this Gemara a couple of times, but you know, do a Birabim. I don't know if this is considered a Khiddish that you come up the Rabbim. But uh, the chayra, it's a croak. Right? Very so, good. The havi, the havi ki akro, the haru, the ha grunya. It was the size of akro va grunya. The akro va grunya kama havi, how big is that? Sheets in bati, that's 60 houses. Yeah? So, also, tenina bolo. So now, what happened with this big frog? Uh, tenina bolo, tenina are sea creatures came and swallowed the frog also pushkansa ubalo latanina came a a oiriv nekeva female raven came and swallowed the tanina 
uh, which is almost like a, a the hot 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 this is like the water hot god <laughs> right? <laughs> then it went and it sat on a tree so is, is to, does to the word tuna come from tanina if you're saying the frog so i wonder i think well, yeah, that could be yeah, yeah because tuna is considered a large fish right it's a pretty large fish of tuna I think we've had that before. One in a, in yes, a previous, I, I believe, a, in a previous Agata to Gemara so, yeah. having to do with yes. oceans. I think we, right. I think we said, yeah, very good. So ta, ta chazi kama nafesh cheli deilona. Let's see how strong that tree was. I right? mean, if it held this animal that was so big, this bur, uh, this raven that was so big. Amar apapa bar shmuel, iloy avoy hasam loy himne. If I wouldn't have been there, I would not have believed it. Right. So. Um, this one I saw in the art scroll in the Pirish that it says that a frog uh, is a marshal of Tamad Chacham because a Tamad, a, 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 a Tamad Chacham never stops learning. A frog never stops croaking. Right? And then, um, and then you know, you have the Yetzirah who comes and just tries to destroy the Lime de Taira, etc., etc. Right? Um, Yeah, and then it continues about why female a female ira. It's interesting. It is interesting stuff. Anybody has access to an art school, they do a nice job looking at all the, the footnotes of all these things. And you can save money on the juggler and the king too. You just get the art school. <laughs> yeah. One time I was going in a svina, but chasina na hu kavra, and I saw a fish. The yasule, the yasule achlatina beusye. It was sitting in its nose. Uh, a small, uh, a small little, uh, uh, how do you call those things? A like a bug. It's not a bug. A bug. Something, something like a bug. Yeah. But who may have a And it's the the water came and threw out this threw out this dead fish into the into the onto the shore. Because of it, 60 cities were destroyed. That's how big it was. Right? And from the dead fish, 60, so it destroyed 60 cities, and 60 cities were, were able to eat from the fish. And 60 cities salted, were able to salt it. And from one eyeball, they were allowed. They they were they were able to make three hundred barrels of of oil. So yeah, one of them, a farshim says that sixty is always a lushan for exaggeration. I think three hundred might be also be. Teres Chaim says that because that's the sheer bittel. One sixty. What sheer sixty? Yes, yeah, like the Gemara, all the gemaras in brachas, like fires one sixtieth of the Gehenim. It just means that our fire in our world is going to be bottle bottle. To get ish of Gehenna. So it says that anytime the Gemara says 60, that's what it's referring to. But that's why it uses 60. Uh huh. That's the sheer of a bit. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. Um, we, have, we have other sheerim for Bittel that are even even a, a smaller amount. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Okay. Got to take it with the grain. Of the we had it when we were learning together, my vart on Nuntes, nice and tam. Right, 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 and, right. And my yeah. loved it, my God. Yeah, in a Rashi, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Is it to that, to, to this Taras Okay. Yeah. yeah, very good. Um, uh, yeah, so what are we up to? So we came back. And what are we up to? Uh, yeah. When we came back 12 months later, we saw that they were, they were uh, taking, uh, cutting, cutting wood, not wood, cutting the bones in order to make matalalta, in order to make roofs. And, that's, and they, that's what they were using to, to rebuild these cities. Fine. So one time we're going on a ship, saw a fish, the Yasvale Khazagawe. It seemed like it had sand on its back. And there was an agam, agam swamps. 
were uh, were growing on it. So they thought that this was not a fish. They thought it was the ground. Savrina, Savrina Yaveshti, we thought it was uh, dry land. And so we went up and we baked and we were cooking on it. So then when it got too hot on the back of this thing, it decided to turn over. It wouldn't be if there was a boat next to us. We would have no place to go. We would have drowned. Yeah, okay. We're going in a boat. This Uskoi uh, Svinasa, and the boat was traveling. It was, it was, the fish was so big that it was, the boat went in between the fins of the fish. Right? Three days and three nights. That's how long it took to travel in between the fins of each fish, uh, of the fish, each fin of the fish. And the fish was going upstream, not really, but it means upstream. He was going opposite the wind. Right? And we, uh, and we were going down, downwind. I mean, what do you call it in the, on the plains? Tailwind? The fish, we had the tailwind and. He had the headwind, no? He had the head, headwind. Good, good. Yeah, headwind, right? And still, that's how long it took. And if you say that that was, uh, it didn't, you had a slow ship, right? Maybe that's why it took you so long. The time that it takes to heat up a kumkum, uh, you know, a jug of water, that's how um, that it would travel 60 pars. This pars. was a speedboat, right? And when a a uh, parsha, the army, the soldier, would shoot an arrow, um, uh, the, the boat actually went faster than the arrow. It was a little small fish called the gildana, the isle tre shaitsi, and it has two two uh, two fins. So, uh, so meaning, and he's saying that it was a small fish, and that's considered a small fish. And you see how big it was that it took three days for this speedboat to travel in between each fin. Okay, whatever that means. One time we were going in a ship, we saw a bird, it was standing in its up to its ankles in water. And its head was in the sky. And we said that there's no water here. Uh, because all it, all you, when they walk, they see this bird and the water is only up to the ankles. And they said, oh, it must be shallow water. And they wanted, they wanted wet things to go, meaning they wanted to go swimming, to cool themselves down. And then a Pascal went out. Pascal of Amralon. Don't go down here. Because this, because uh, a chatzitza, an axe of a carpenter fell here, and Hashev Shani, it's been seven years, and it hasn't even washed ashore yet. And not only because it's a lot of water, because the water is very fast, meaning it's fast moving. So, Ahu Ziz Sadaihu, that, um, that uh, the, 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 this bird that's head was in the sky is it's called a ziz sade. ziz sade imadi. This moving thing with the field is with me. We're going in the midbar. And we saw geese, the shamti gutfai and mishmanai. And their uh, feathers were falling out of their fats. And and um, the Nachli the Mishkan was streams of oil coming out from them. Amin Allahu, so I said to them, Islan Begavaihu Khalkalama Dasi, are we gonna get a, a portion of you in the next world? Meaning, because I guess it was very fatty, which is considered good good. Khada Dali Gatva. So one of them lifted up its wing, the Khada Dali Atma, one of them lifted up its thigh. Meaning they showing that yeah, this is what you're gonna have. 
When I came from Rolos, he said to me, I see that you saw Litin Alein as a din. Klai Yisrael is going to have to pay a din b'cheshbin. Right? Uh, uh, because, so it's inter- this is interesting. The Rashbam says, I mean, I don't know if the other stuff is not interesting, but what, what's the punishment? Meaning, because Lasid Lavai, the Tzadikim are going to eat from these birds. If you look at the Rashbam, second line up from the bottom, so the Rashbam says, Shebechatosa Mishak of Mashiach. Because of the Chatoim, Mashiach was prevented from coming. Ve'yeshlem Tsar Balechaim. And you're over on Tsar Balechaim because these birds are suffering, right? They're so fatty and they're losing their, their uh, um, feathers and the fat's going out of them and they're just waiting to die to be served in, after Mashiach, right? And but then Bashiach can't come because Klaisol keeps doing Chatoim. Right? So therefore, Klaisol is going to be Asalitin as a din on the Tsar Brother Chaim, even though it's a grammar. I know Akiva's not on. Got to say it. It's a, it's a, it's a grama, but uh, whatever it is, however you understand the Gemara, but that's but the bottom of the. What's the connection between Tsar Balechaim and Mashiach? I'd like to know that. Well, maybe Peter's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to know the Shaykhs between uh, Tsar Balechaim and Mashiach. Yeah, no, it's an interesting thing. <laughs> Whatever and it is. So, so many other Averis, uh, you know, unfortunately. We can, no, it's uh, talking about Tsar Balechaim specifically on this. Right, but like, this yeah. this is Ma'ak and Mashiach. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's do a few more lines. Simon Kaafra to Trilt to Krikta Karta the Salty. Orachana. Sim Nachada Havaka as Lina Bamadbura. One time we were going in the midbar of Bislavi Badana Hutaya and there was uh, an Arab guy traveling us with us. I you know forget it. Let, let's stop there because it's a long Gemara. It's a whole it's a, it goes it goes for a while. So I guess we'll uh, I don't want to leave anybody in suspense, but sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, we'll, so we'll leave it. We'll leave the we we'll leave the eight forty. Eight forty. We say eight forty. Eight forty. Eight forty. Eight forty five. Probably eight forty. Eight forty. Eight forty five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lamed Gimel. Uh, Yud Gimel. Tell him. <laughs>